All right, so I just created a recipe just like this. I grabbed spices, things out of the fridge, my leftovers. Here's what it turned out to be. And on a much larger scale, I used one of my Lodge Iron Cast Iron Pans. Lodge Iron Cast Iron Pans. And then here's how it turned out. I'm not gonna tell you what we thought. You're gonna have to watch the video and see. We are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children. Some of them we adopted, and this is just the Bell's 10. Okay, so I honestly have no idea what I'm making. Um, I have one thing of hamburger, hot dogs, some tomatoes, beans. So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff, and I'm just gonna make it with you guys. Um, so the, oh, no, I'll grab me that onion in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna start with um, just a pound of ground hamburger here. I got my garlic. So a pound of ground hamburger, and there should be an onion that was half. No, there should be one that that was already cut. It was cut in half. All right, so I'm gonna do a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna do some minced onion. Let's do like a tablespoon of minced onion. And honey, it's in a plastic bag. And then I'm gonna get that cooking. I need an onion, Noah. All right, well, just bring me an onion, but I'm pretty sure there was one in a plastic baggie. Outside, outside. All right, okay, so I got an onion here. Where'd my knife go? So hot. All right, so I got an onion. Me and Noah couldn't find the onion. So I'm gonna cook this hamburger, the garlic, um, this onion. I'm not really a red onion kind of fan, but I've been doing a lot of recipes that require red onions. And so uh, we I actually made a, a meal list and Haley was supposed to do like a pineapple chicken, but she works so much that she probably should put her name on the weekends for cooking. So I, I have leftovers from Mother's Day because we did some hamburgers on my birthday or we did taco meat or something. All right, so I'm gonna cut this onion up and I'm gonna put this in there too. Just gonna chop this up. All right. There we go. All right, let's add this to get it cooking. So one red onion. You guys could take notes, so if it does work out, you can send it to me. That was crazy. So my kids just got home from school. Um, we actually had no power yesterday. It was Robert's day to make um, brats and he actually did make his brats. It turned out pretty good because you know the grill's not on power. So we're just gonna cook this up. Let me get a spoon here. So he, um, we made brats and then we did chicken just because I wasn't sure. I couldn't really cook anything else so um, we basically had protein. The chicken turned out really good though. So I'm just gonna get this all. I've been really trying hard to clean out my refrigerator before I go grocery shopping. I don't just wanna go grocery shopping to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna add some of these tomatoes now. There we go. So these are just like a canned tomato. I actually do my own canning on a lot of stuff. So I got garlic, the onion, the hamburger. I'm gonna cut up those hot dogs, add them. When you got sandwich just on your plate? All right, my kids are home and of course they're snacking because I wasn't ready for dinner. But it wasn't my day for dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna add, yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic salt. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of onion powder. I like to do my seasonings with my meat um, just because I think, you know, even if your stuff is bland, you can still spice it up with, um, with your meat. You know what I'm saying, like chili. I like to add seasoning to my chili, but then I do add a little bit to the soup part. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ground mustard. I really like using ground mustard. And I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of paprika. Oh, seven more days this is the first thing that I actually had caught, had grabbed. I don't, 
Y'all just keep track of all this. What are you making? I'm, I don't know what I'm making. I'm just whipping up something because I'm using all my leftovers. So, yeah. Hey, it could be great. This could be something new. It's good. Let's call it like a cowboy chili or something because I'm going to do hot dogs in it. I got the ground beef. Hello? Oh, yeah. I'm on my way. Willow just invited me over for dinner. So. No, you're going to try my dinner. Okay. So I'm going to put the top on this. She says she's going to go somewhere else for dinner. Um, can you open these for me? I got open. I'm going to do like a bean type thing. So if you could open this one and this one and this one, I'm going to put different beans in it. All right. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to cut some hot dogs into it. I'm not going to do a lot of hot dogs. Looks like somebody got into the hot dogs. Who got into the hot dogs? Noah, I told you. Noah! I'm just kidding. Oh. Mom, there's no hot dogs missing. Oh. Robert must have opened them and then he must have said no hot dogs. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to add like maybe a half a pack of hot dogs. So let's say eight. There's 16 in here because I don't want the hot dogs to steal the show. Maybe I do. I don't know. So this is actually what I do a lot um, when I'm making some things. I just put together whatever, and if it goes well, it goes well. I know people have an issue with me putting hot dogs and stuff. Like I made a mac and cheese. Woo, I got destroyed. Destroyed. Um, I don't know. I, I, was, I grew up with macaroni and cheese and hot dogs, and then my kids put ketchup on it. So I don't really understand what the big deal was, but it was a big deal. All right, what did I do with my little... All right, so let's add these hot dogs to it because I want them to cook up a little bit. So like I said, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay, let's stir this up. Yeah, I'm just going to Willows. You're not going to Willows. You're going to try this like everybody else. <laughs> uh, I better call the name when you want it. I don't know what to call it, you guys. If it turns out good, maybe you guys could help us think of a name for it. And then maybe I'll make it again. And this is just a YouTube exclusive. Just saying. We actually have some funny ideas we're going to be throwing on our YouTube for cooking ideas. Um, I have to share with the kids. It's actually going to be pretty funny. But All right, so we're going to get that cooking. Izzy's opening up my beans. Um, can you put this in the fridge for me, please? Hey, it could end up being good. Maybe we could add a little barbecue sauce to it. Okay, put that in the fridge. We're going to need that for tomorrow. And then the garlic is done. If you could put that away. Thank you very much. You know, we do have a seasoning. I'm actually gonna add the rest of these tomatoes. Cause like I said, I'm trying to use everything in my fridge. That's why I haven't done a video on grocery shopping lately because I'm not gonna just buy things so people will watch my videos. I don't wanna buy food that we're not gonna eat. It don't make no sense. So um, I have been trying to, my, my goal is to completely clean my fridge out, start using my canning stock because I keep forgetting it's down there. What if I added, um, what if I added like potatoes to this, Izzy? Hash brown potatoes. potatoes. What about corn? Do you think corn would be good? You don't know? I'm okay. not even eating because I already ate corn. Oh, bull, you are too eating. All right, so I'm going to clean my mess up and then I'm going to come back when this is done and we're going to add the beans to it. <laughs> okay, I got my area cleaned up, so now I'm going to turn this down and I'm going to add all my beans. And I also grabbed some salt and pepper, so I'm gonna do like a half a tablespoon of salt. And then, that's not a lot of salt because there's a lot of stuff in here. And then instead of using black pepper, I'm gonna use white pepper. I actually use white pepper, so just a half a tablespoon. Uh, I hope you're jotting this all down. Um, Someone's gonna say, what? I'm actually, uh, what's this spicy? I actually like using white pepper a lot when I make chilies. Um, I like white pepper a lot, okay. It, it's, it doesn't smell too bad. Okay, those hot dogs are cooking. All right, so I'm going to add one can of Bush's baked beans. And I'm going to keep the juice because I need the juice. All right. All right, I want to get all that. Um, this is all I have is for beans. So, And I'm going to add a can of chili beans. This is the, it's going to be the twist. My first instinct is to, um, and it is to get a uh, cheese, but I'm not gonna put that in there. A can of white beans, which is navy beans. What are you staring at? My daughter's giving me the stink eye. You have six boys and you're using four cans of beans. And then great northern beans. Oh, I know, right? Oh. 
She's no one's right. got bathrooms She's right. this month. Yeah, but not all beans make you fart, do they? Yeah. I just said fart on social media. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up. You're such a rebel. And I'm such a rebel. I said fart on the YouTube. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. All right, I'm gonna just. Food. Are we going on our walk today? Because we definitely skipped yesterday. It's supposed to rain. Ah, uh, that's why I'm going alone. No, I will walk with you. It's just supposed to rain. I don't want to walk in the rain. We don't have any rain today. Me and Izzy's been walking every day. We're trying to lose lots of weight for Hawaii. She doesn't really need to lose weight, but she's trying to tone up. Okay, so mm -hmm. now this is going. I got it all stirred in. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I need to add some brown sugar to it. Please don't. Okay. So, yeah, I think I need to add some brown sugar to it. The words in your eyes telling you to stop. Okay. I think it, I feel like it needs like ketchup and brown sugar. So I'm going to add one ketchup tablespoon. Ketchup and brown sugar? The ketchup. I just That was like... not one tablespoon. That was two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons. All right. All right, I'm going to stir this in. I just feel like it has that feel. So add two tablespoons to your list, please. I'm having them keep track of my list. So I'm going to cook this, and then I'm going to see what it needs. It looks really good, though. I don't know. I think it looks good. But I've used up stuff in my fridge that was left over. This is Haley's fault. Yeah, that's okay. At least we're eating. All right, so I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to simmer it for about 20 minutes, and then um, I will be back to taste test it and see what we think. So now I'm going to share with you. I'm going to mix it up. You know, it actually doesn't look too bad. I just been simmering it for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to try it. Here we go. You know what? Get a spoon. I want you to try it too. Okay, here we go. I want to try it over the thing though. I knew you were going for the hot dogs. Take some of the beans too. You know what would be good if I added bacon, like crispy bacon? I just have bacon in my sandwich. Okay, put your hand under it like this so it doesn't drip. So to me, it tastes like beanie weenies mixed with chili. Like a sweet chili. It's actually not bad. I added like paprika and ground mustard. Come on, little the mustard. boy. Or you're going in the corner. It's like a, a chili slash beanie weenies. What do you think? And the onions aren't too cooked, so they're kind of crunchy a little bit. Ew. What do you think? It's good. Kind of smoky. Okay. Noah's, Noah's about to cry. This is a keeper. So I would serve this one with maybe cornbread, biscuits. <gasps> um, as it sits, it's going to thicken. So this one turned out good. I hope you wrote that recipe down. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me and making my, I don't know what we're going to call it. Comment below and tell me what we should call this dish. Should have been pineapple chicken. Just kind of made it up. All right. See you later. Okay, so I need you to comment below, share some ideas of what you think we should call this. Like I said, it tastes a little bit like chili. I can see you. Or a little, and a little bit like, excuse me, beanie weenies. It's actually not that bad. Mm, excuse me. It kind of does make you burp. But it's actually not that bad. It's something I just put together, found things, created it right away. It actually isn't that bad. But don't forget to subscribe, like our page, and share with people. Come on, man, let's get the word out. Just the Bell family is living large. Woohoo!